Thank you so much, Randy, for those words. A lot of us here today, yes, unfortunately, you're hearing it for the first time. But now this is the first day, if it is the first time you're hearing it, now that you know the history or a snippet of the history, you're responsible for that history and now you take action. I would like to proudly present Jim Vincent, our next speaker, president of NAACP. Give him another hand. Uh, Callie, thank you so much for letting me follow Randy Noka. Uh, you know, Randy, that was one of the best speeches I've heard in years. Uh, I've listened intently, and I'm telling, let's get up for Randy Noka. That was uh, that was that was so so good. My name is Jim Vincent, I'm the president of the NAACP Providence Branch, and I'm here as an ally of the Narragansett tribe and the indigenous peoples of this land, where we are. And I'm here to say that, you know, it's unfortunate that when people don't do their due diligence and they don't talk to the first peoples about what happened in history, mistakes are made. And across the street, we see a mistake. Honoring somebody that really doesn't need to be honored. Really doesn't need to be honored. And that just goes to show that when you don't have respect in terms of communications with certain groups of people, especially peoples of color, that's why mistakes are made. I mean, we have so many people in the black and brown and indigenous communities that we can honor. Let's honor them. Let's honor them for once. Let's put some statues up to those people that have fought, bled, and died for this country. For this country. And women too. And women too. Absolutely. That's right, all of that. Now I'm here in Pawtucket where a lot of my folks are, Cape Verdean, mm -hmm. who have to now see something that I'm sure they had no part in, okay? And to make it even worse, a lot of people that are part of the Narragansett tribe also are part Cape Verdean as well. So we, there's, there's a closeness in our peoples. So I am particularly disturbed about it because of that closeness. I am proud and honored to be here on behalf of the NAACP because this is where it's all about, the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. Right? Let's tell it. The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Remember that? So, you know, I'm gonna be brief because this is Indigenous Peoples Day and I think we have a lot of different Indigenous leaders here that need to be heard. They need to be heard. So I'd like to thank uh, Bella and Randy for inviting me here to allow me to speak on a very important day, Indigenous Peoples Day. And I just wanna make sure that we all, from this point on, can work together to make sure that we empower each other. Thank you very much, and have a happy Indigenous Peoples Day. Thank you. Woo!